my. What's up, guys? Politics Gaming here, and today we're gonna go on with episode 10 of the Russian Federation. Um, if you obviously notice right here, I have a new mic. Um, I do hope it sounds good. Last episode, we uh, got done with the elections in um, Russia, and we did per, uh, elect our first game is over for you, Valisi Slutin. Since your political party won the elections, you have a chance to continue playing with the new head of state. Do you want to continue the game with Alexandria Linko? Except. And we have officially inaugurated a new president. We have the first woman president of the Russian Federation. Which... <laughs> Progressivism! Oh, shit. We have to form a new government. And we're back. Um, already set up a new government. We have these people right here. Um, <clears throat> we have... Female Secretary of Defense, Female Secretary of Ag Agriculture, lots of, uh, diversity. Um, so what we are going to do now, that we are going to go ahead and start working to build a pipeline with India. So we can start delivering India to both China and, uh, India as well as our uh, Central Asian allies. So, um... Let's check our inflation. We have... Ooh, we have a 1 inflation. Which means we can... lower our interest rate. We can lower that to maybe about... Cut that down to about 5%. Let's go ahead. Central Bank just lowered its interest rate. This means this is a measure that will encourage consumption. People and businesses will borrow more, favoring at the same time the increase of the GDP, not to mention the reduction of unemployment. Unemployment it's extremely low which may cause a problem for us because we won't have enough people to recruit into the public sector into um, the military but by that we would have to kill jobs or um, increase like minimum wage, I believe. Yeah, it's minimum wage to um, get rid or uh, create um, more unemployment so we have uh, better jobs that we can employ for our own good. <laughs> That's how close the election was. Union for a Traditional Republic, 50%. Russian Workers' Party, 49%. Check our immigration situation. Gradually going up. We have 316,000 illegal immigrants. Um, let's go ahead and regulate tourist visas. And let's check what our party thinks. So let's go ahead and institute regulating visas. Oh, we have an uprising. I guess it's in response to uh, visa law. Let's block them. Let's go in.
Nice. Yes, let's go ahead and congratulate him. Since we are strong allies with Venezuela. Uh, there seems to be a fire in Cuba. Cuba. Cuba, Cuba, Cuba. Speaking, who is the President of the United States? Paul Ryan. Also work to get rid of the uh, debilitated housing. Let's also increase funding for the environment, the protection of the environment. Which collection? Let's get more to that. I know that's a pretty expensive. So it's 103 million dollars that we're investing into let's also pass a law to regulate traffic in urban zones Growth rate is 3%. Let's also declare a tax amnesty. So we can get more capital that um, comes in to Russia. Sell something like that on the forums and uh, the Iron Lady says that those are... Oh, I need to click on the military tab. The Iron, Iron Lady says that um, supporting things like that, like tax amnesties, um, this is a lot of lag. Do good for the country. Oh god. Jesus Christ, what was that? Gonna have to do it from here. Oh, shut up, Georgia. Okay. Um, sentences, sentences of less than three months. Let's go ahead and decree that. Since we do have a new president prison population 0.5 percent of the population number of protesters jailed six let's start working on education Backup classes. Classes for the exceptionally gifted. Teaching of local languages. Student accommodation. Renewal and maintenance. That's expensive. School equipment. Yeah. I'm gonna try to do this under by making it under two billion dollars. Alright. Invest 1.9 billion dollars in education. Let's also 
pay them more. Right. We're exporting more, that's a first. <laughs> Ooh, we have... We have another uprising. Ukrainian community, what what that do to the Ukrainian community? So this will block them from getting into the parliament. Demonstrator killed with shit. Ukraine. I have proof that Ukrainian government secretly finances Russian lobbyist terrorism. Damn it, Ukraine. Yeah, let's meet up with them. Concern with financial and the fiscal amnesty. What's what's all with this amnesty thing? I don't know what you're doing, Madam President. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> I swear to God, I am going to occupy you. Issuance of $7.65 billion of debt. Yeah, let's go ahead and depose of you. Everybody, was kidnapped in Syria by Syrian Kurdish resistance. Come on. I have to pull my people out. Secret Service. Maybe we can get rid of Erdogan. When's your election? 2019, oh yeah.
Okay. Um. Risen to one percent. Nice. Then let's get political spying in there. You can assassinate the president of Estonia and then um Yeah. Totally take this over. Our way. Um well it seems that the honeymoon period of um, the next president of Russia is uh, beginning to close up. So um, if you like this, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe if you are new. And um, I'll see you guys in episode 11.